Hi. So I'm hoeing into a giant ribeye the other night and I thought, geez, I haven't talked about vegans for a while. I wonder what those crazy bastards have been up to. And then won't you believe it, I'm scrolling through Twitter yesterday and I see a New York Post article about this vegan who drinks his own piss. That's right, drinks his own piss. And I thought, isn't that against the rules? Aren't these people supposed to not consume anything that comes from animals? Would piss not count as that? But then again, it comes from a creature who is vegan themselves. But you could say that about cow's milk too. So I don't know, this one's got me stumped and a little bit disgusted. Let's have a look. Hearing, hearing, hear, 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 hearing. Yeah, so anyway, in my opinion, you've got three types of vegans. You've got the, oh, I just don't like eating meat or anything from animals type of vegan. And they're cool. They're the best ones. They keep to themselves. They leave you the fuck alone. They don't guilt trip you about eating a steak. They're the best vegans. Then you've got the militant vegans. You know, the fuck you for eating animals type of vegan. And this would include those crazy activists who fuck everyone's night up by protesting meat consumption at restaurants and supermarkets and shit. <laughs> Also in this category are the internet vegans. You know, the debate me on the internet bro type of vegans. And I have wasted my time with this type of vegan before. The debate goes like this. Why do you eat animals? How can you justify that morally? Um, I like to eat animals and fuck you. Oh, so you can't come up with a moral justification for eating animals? Well, do I need to? They're nutritious and delicious and we've been eating them forever. Oh, that's a tradition fallacy. You can't really justify the morality of eating animals. Name the trait, bro. Why don't you eat humans if it's justified to eat animals? Uh, because they're human and they're not beef or chicken or fish or lamb. That's not a justification, bro. You lose. Fucking pwned. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't care. Oh, he said he doesn't care. What a fucking loser. Yeah, so anyway, then you've got the third type of vegan. The fucking mentally deranged vegan. The silly, dopey, goofy, retarded, bastard vegan. The kind that put themselves online doing this. If you exploit animals, my crotch is closed for business. If you are vegan, my crotch is open for business. And this. I wanna get so drunk off your pussy that I feel like I'm in outer space. And this. You own my dick. You own my vegan dick. And although I think it disqualifies him from being a vegan because he's drinking animal products, etc. This. Vegan who drinks his urine daily swears it's a secret to eternal youth. Is pee the fountain of youth? A 34-year-old vegan in England swears the byproduct of relieving himself relieves more than just his bladder. Harry Matadine has claimed he drinks his own urine daily, saying the stomach-churning practice has cured him of his depression and made him look 10 years younger. Nah, Harry, you look like a 34-year-old man. A 34-year-old homeless man who smells like piss. Matadine said he used to suffer from depression and severe social anxiety, which he claimed was cured almost immediately after beginning urine therapy during the summer of 2016 in an open-minded and desperate attempt to heal. Fucking hell, what a stretch. I've got depression and social anxiety. I'm going to start drinking my piss. That should help it. It was beyond my wildest imaginations how powerful it was when I drank it, he told Jam Press. From the moment I drank my urine, it woke up my brain and removed my depression. I felt a new sense of peace peace, calm and determination, he said. I thought, wow, I can make it for free and always keep myself in this happy state. Matadine reportedly guzzles around 200 millilitres, about 6.7 fluid ounces, of his own liquid waste every day. His daily drink often consists of month-old urine, topped off with a splash of fresh pee. <laughs> yeah, you can't be drinking that month-old urine straight. You gotta mix that shit, or at least have a piss chaser. And look at this stuff sitting on the windowsill. That's fucking disgusting. You got this brown one here, 
and you got these two on the right with all the crud at the bottom. Fucking gross. The Holistic Health Nut swears pee is super clean and has even self-published several books on urine therapy, including Aged Urine, Discovery of the Century, and Aged Urine, Rediscovery of the Century. Fresh urine is never as bad as you imagine. It's neutral smelling and not a bad taste unless you're really toxic. But the aged urine is always smelly and the taste is a refined and acquired one. I'll just say it takes some getting used to. I actually like the smell and taste of my aged urine now. Due to the neuro association of what benefits and joy it gives me after I take it into my system, he added. But he doesn't just care about his insides, it seems. Matadine said he also cups his piddle in his hands and massages it into his face as a moisturiser. <laughs> Urine has made me look a lot younger. Drinking the aged urine has revitalised my face to its youthful years. And when I rub it on my face, the difference is instant and obvious, he claimed. My skin is young, soft and glowing. Aged urine is the best food for skin I've found to date. When you rub it on, it softens the skin and keeps it youthful and elastic. I don't use any other skincare other than urine. The bearded Brit called his process the secret to eternal youth and swore he often gets mistaken for someone in their 20s. Sometimes when I'm at the urinal and no one's watching, I'll cup my hands and splash the fresh urine I'm excreting and rub it on my face, he shockingly added. Urine therapy has changed my life. Not all the effects of urine therapy have been positive, though. Oh, you think? Matadine said his family has never approved of his disgusting habit, which he alleged was one reason why his sister has ceased communicating with him. Yeah, dude, you smell like fucking piss. No one wants to be around someone that smells like piss. And no one wants to be lectured about what they eat and drink by someone who drinks their own piss. I've chosen all of my friends now, and all of them either do A, to fresh urine therapy or approve of it, he claimed. If they didn't, I wouldn't have them as friends. Simple as that. You can't be my friend unless you drink your own piss. <laughs> I wonder if they have piss parties. You know, change it up, keep it fresh, try something new. Any excuse for a good old piss up? Matadine, perhaps unsurprisingly, isn't the only person who swears by pee therapy. A 55-year-old former Versace model last year claimed it helped maintain his chiselled looks, while a pro golfer recently said that the practice was part of his own disease-fighting health regimen. And in 2000, 2020, a German man live-streamed about his daily devotion to the, um, stream. Meanwhile, Matadine's family members aren't the only ones who disapprove of the urine drinking habit. There are no reported health benefits from either drinking or rubbing your own urine onto your body, or anyone else's urine, UK doctor Jeff Foster said. Orally, it's much worse. It can actually speed up the dehydration process and potentially introduce bacteria. He further explained that urine is a waste product, comprised of about 90% water, as well as ammonia and salts, some bacteria, and other waste products. Bottom line is if you would not eat or rub in your own feces, then don't think applying the same principle with urine is any healthier, he said. Waste products are waste for a reason. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, a sign of the current times. There's a doctor in the newspaper saying don't drink your own piss. Our ancestors would be so proud. But what are you going to do? He's a vegan. They're all a bit crazy. How about I just take my gun and put you out of your fucking misery? It's not murder. It's blowing your fucking brains out. <laughs> I mean, imagine just trying to take a gulp of that. That fucking month-old brown shit. How could you keep it down? How would you not gag it back up? I don't know, each to their own, I suppose. But you're not going to catch me doing it. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta. If you exploit animals, my crotch is closed for business. If you are vegan, my crotch is open for business. Hamburger on your plate, closed for business. Veggie burger on your plate, open for business. Hot dog on your plate.